Hello everyone, Steve here with a new clock design to show off. This is the first clock I've ever designed that uses an electric motor, actually a, a small stepper motor with an Arduino Nano controller and it uses a custom control board. Uh, that was the only way that I could find to make the, the clock run quiet and smoothly. Uh, this clock is fully 3D printed with the exception of a few metal arbors uh, used throughout the clock and a couple of screws. Uh, nice visibility, all of the gears are exposed. Uh, here's the, the view from the back of the clock. You can see the, the main stepper motor gear is right here. The power source is right here, just a simple USB cable that uh, is used to power the clock and also used to program the Arduino. This is the time adjustment knob. There's a friction clutch inside here that allows the, the minute hand to spin without interfering with the second hand and allows you to change the time without interfering with the motor. I'm running the clock right now just on a simple USB charger port, but it runs from any USB power plug uh, only draws somewhere around 60 or 70 milliamps of current so any USB cable can be used to, to power the clock. The motor control circuit uses 16 outputs from the Arduino Nano and some resistors to drive the motor coils directly and I tried many many different options this was the best thing I could find to make the motor run smooth and quietly. Uh, if you see the resistors are this bank of resistors is binary weighted 100 ohms, 220, 470, 1000 and 2.2k. These resistors are binary weighted allows proportional control with 32 different current steps and these are just three parallel resistors to share the current. The motor control circuit is available in a, a kit for a fairly small charge on it, my Etsy shop. You might be wondering why go to all the trouble of building a custom stepper motor driver circuit when there are off-the-shelf stepper drivers that you can just buy and drop into the clock. This is an early prototype of this clock. Slightly different design, obviously much smaller but it doesn't use the smooth stepper driver and let me just move the microphone there is a lot of noise in this stepper motor uh, the stepper motors are inherently somewhat notchy uh, if i unplug this clock and then hold the microphone directly next to the motor of the new clock very very little noise uh, this thing is as quiet as i think i can make a clock here is an experiment showing the smoothness of the the stepper motor using the uh, using the the custom stepper motor driver and if you notice the you know, the the flag how smooth it rotates that's by doing 64 step micro step um, with as close to a perfect sine wave as I can get this thing to be adjusted. Uh, that's, that's all handled in the algorithm for the Arduino Nano. And let me show you a comparison of the, an Arduino Nano, but it's emulating the normal stepper motor motion. This driver circuit is still using the stepper motor driver, but instead of sine wave control, it's doing full steps. Uh, but this is the normal nature of a stepper motor. It's very jerky. 
uh, if I move the microphone, you can hear lots and lots of noise. That's what the clock would sound like if I used a, a really cheap, simple uh, stepper motor controller. So I opted to use a custom design uh, to get smooth motion out of the stepper motor. Let's go back and see how the stepper motor behaves with the smooth driver. Very quiet, very silent. That was what was required in order to get this clock to, to function the way I liked. This clock design will be available on my mini factory and the motor control circuits will be available on Etsy. Uh, it's a fairly simple clock to, to build. I think the print time is just slightly over 40 hours, uh, maybe half a kilogram of filament. Uh, so it's a little bit smaller than any of my other clocks, uh, but you know, due to its nature, never needs winding. It just sits on a on a shelf. Uh, does need a USB power source, but those are pretty commonly available. So check it out over at my mini factory.